Hello everybody and in this video I'm gonna show you how I fix up this photo. I want the background to be a bit brighter and the tree itself to be more and more vibrant with color and not look too shady as you could see just as I showed you it was pretty low quality with light and now I'm just testing it out to see how it works and I think this is the spot that I would like to stay with as you can see there's a big improvement from the before and now so I'm just gonna reduce or increase I don't really know yet I'm just testing it out to see and I'm probably gonna keep it like this just not to overexpose the photo and yeah I think that's fine. Yeah, it's good. So now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna see if I can make the bottom part of the tree, the brown section, pop out a bit more, and I think I succeeded with that. Yeah, I think that's fine. And maybe I'll put it low. I'll keep it neutral. Yeah, I'll keep it neutral. Now we're in effects. I'm going to see what texture I want the tree to have. Real quick. Probably going to leave it on a 31. I don't want to do anything with this. The dehaze has a purpose for its own. Now I'm adding the sharpness. As you can see, the trees are very sharp. Looking very spiky. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm testing the radius. Uh, 2.5 is the magic number for me. And the detail, it depends. Sometimes I like to have it on a low number. Sometimes I like to have it on a high number because you can tell how it affects the photo. I'm just double checking. And I probably would put the radius at 1.2. Although 2.5 is the lucky number. So yeah, I yeah, I think I think that's all right. I'm just seeing the difference. Very big difference. Look at those branches coming from the shadow into the light. I'm just trying to think if I need to do anything or change anything or if I if I have it, everything perfect. So, hmm, yeah, I don't know, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. 